in the, name, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful opportunity that you have given us. It is not by chance, but by choice we are here to know you and understand you. And as I speak, Holy Spirit, take complete authority of my mind and my vocal cords. Let every word that I speak be of yours and nothing of mine, Lord. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. All right. So as all of you all know, once in a week, we have testimonies, right? We have the days of the where we talk about testimonies like everyone gets a chance every participant gets a chance to share what God has done in their life so today is that day today there won't be any teaching but every participant gets a chance to you know share whatever God has done to them and if you want I'll share my screen and put the scriptures so that we can apply what they got in their lives and learn from that praise God thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Okay. So, Eden, would you like to testify what Jesus has done for you? I'm pretty sure you would have a lot to share. <laughs> Hi, Priya. Uh, yes, of course. I mean, for me, every day, like I'm learning and every day it's just been better and better. Um, but I guess uh, since I've already like kept giving my, you know, daily testimonies i guess um just for the benefit of like everyone to you know maybe understand yes. how like just sharing my experience of how i came actually into the world i think i could do that uh, very briefly so um yeah it's actually a very personal thing i've never really spoken about it but all praise to jesus you know um so i was like any other young person you know always uh, thinking about maybe enjoyment and having you know of course I was very focused on my career but again like what I've heard and what I've learned from teachings is your heart condition is very important it's good to be focused on your career but for what reasons my motives were purely selfish like I wanted to be number one I wanted to be you know loved by people and it was always me 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 and um this kept continuing but um I think what changed my life was, you know, when uh, I, yeah, so there was like, I started getting symptoms of like a very um, terminal illness. And I'd shared this with Priya that, you know, Priya, I'm feeling, you know, this pain, I'm feeling this lump and it's not going. And, you know, at that point in time, I didn't realize the meaning of, you know, strongholds and how the devil can really you know, um, affect your mind and make you believe things that are not true. But, um, you know, as the fear crept in, uh, it the symptoms also kept growing. And, uh, you know, every day when I used to try to think positive that, no, nothing is wrong with me, nothing is wrong with me, it just get, kept getting worse and worse. And uh, it, it almost made me believe that I had something, right? Um Finally, when, when, you know, it was too bad, the symptoms, and I couldn't sleep at night, I couldn't do anything, uh, we decided to, you know, just go to the, go to a GP and get it checked up. And, uh, you know, the crazy part is, I went there, and the GP, first thing she asked me is, do you have any history of this illness in your family? Which means that even she suspected that it could be, you know, something, and that's that's how the devil you know gets to you it's like at that point I already like it was like this is it done my life is you know falling apart um so yeah when she asked me that question I told her yeah my aunt had it and whatever and then she did some tests and she you know suggested that I do an ultrasound things like that you know and everything was just falling apart because at that point I realized that if I don't have health and if this is if this is what I think it is, then uh, what next? You know, there's no way out. And uh, I remember like the, that entire week going for tests and, uh, you know, going going for the ultrasound, waiting for the report. It was the most agonizing time in my entire life. And, you know, it's at moments like these where you have nothing to turn to. 
you know all your plans everything it has no value you have nothing to turn to you have no one to turn to in the physical is what i'm saying and that is when you know i was at my utmost like at bottomest bottomest level no motivation nothing and then you won't believe what happened that day okay how god works how jesus works so that a day in the morning i gave my ultrasound and i came home and i was just completely you know like i said no motivation nothing couldn't get out of bed also because i thought my life was over this is how bad the stronghold had become and uh, at that time i was not in the word but priya kept you know sending me scriptures and teachings at that even at that point even though she knew that i was not i used to not open them i used to not open them at all but something that day happened it was the holy spirit of course i know now that made me click on the scripture that she sent she sent in that morning itself today's daily you know teaching my teaching my teaching and for some reason i just clicked on it and praise god the teaching that she had on that day was about about um god and uh, about um what you call it like she gave her testimony of how she was having a headache of before her exam or her hand was not her hand was paining or something like that and she knew it was from the devil and she said that by the wounds of jesus i have already been healed and this is what she taught in that little voice note without knowing my problem without knowing anything and when i played that voice note when i heard that scripture and by his wounds i am healed that spoke to me and i was transformed and my life has not been the same because when i heard that i could feel an instant healing and that's when i realized you know everything the shambles the shackles of the you know the mind and the strongholds and whatever the devil was trying to convince me all shattered down because at that point i realized where have i been looking whom have i been turning to jesus has been there all this while and he is not going to let anything happen to me and i believed the scripture and i said it and i proclaimed it i am already healed and that's when you know i called priya and i told her priya my reports this is what has happened my reports are due tomorrow but i already know the results i already know that the results are going to come negative and that's Praise exactly God. what happened the next day i was at such peace the entire night i slept like a baby and next day when i got the reports in my hand i broke down like a child and my life has never been the same again and the reason why i'm sharing this is because like if all of us just have that picture in our mind of our heavenly father carrying us on his back you know there's nothing for us to ever worry about in our life and yeah i think that's just uh, you know how i personally came into the world world you know when life was completely i was at my bottomest god lifted me up and there's no way that i can go back now praise god thanks priya for giving me this chance to share thank you praise, praise god. god so i just want to ask my participants for the benefit of all so that we get some learning from this testimony is it okay if we ask you questions eden if you are on the hot seat for today for some time <laughs> no problem at all because it's all glory to jesus like it's all yes surely no worries at all praise god so i will start asking questions and if anything like anybody wants to ask you all are also free to ask because this is where we learn praise god so don't miss out on this opportunity thank you jesus okay so what made you you know what touched you in that recording that i had sent you like i had given you that scripture 1 peter 224 by the wounds and stripes of jesus i am healed right that was the scripture praise mm-hmm. god mm-hmm. so can you tell me a little more on that so what exactly happened was like when i played that recording like i heard i heard you telling about it and it was more about your experience right you said that yes. you had a pain but you spoke to the devil and you said that this pain is not from god this is from you and in jesus name i am already healed it's more about like the tense as well the tense of it it's not i will be healed it's not you know i was healed, uh, you know 
it's not the future tense it's like jesus has already died on the cross and has already healed us and that's when i realized and what i've also learned from the teachings after that like before that was that um sister joseline kept saying you know it's when you try something that it it's easier to you know imagine it and it's easier to manifest so the instant image that i got in my mind when i heard that you know you are healed i saw jesus as a father carrying me on his back and just that i mean it's just an image it could be different for different people but when i i saw that image when i read that and that's when i it, so basically what happened was i just felt the love it was nothing else i just felt the love of god for me the love of jesus for me and i realized that he is my father and he's not going to allow anything bad to happen to me because he loves me it's as simple as that so how can yes, how god. can this thing happen to me yes it it was just the love that just overflowed like when i heard that by his wounds i saw the scars that he carried on the cross for me and i realized that he's taken it up he's not going to let anything happen and that's when Praise you know god. i decided that i will proclaim and of course my like my dad has always been teaching us that you have to claim for things to happen like you have to claim the promises of god before it even happens i've been learning that so i decided to do that and i said that i believe my reports are negative and as human as i am you know when i got the reports next day i still broke down crying because i was still in awe and you know shock that this is how it is you know but yeah that's praise that's, god thank you so much eden so here one point yeah. i would like to stress on to all my participants who are listening here so when eden all this while her focus is on the problem that is that illness that is speaking to her the evil report that is speaking to her but as soon as she saw the scripture her mind started imagining things so before she was imagining the worst case scenario you started imagining that you are going to die and stuff like that all the worst possible things right before the scripture praise god yes yes because the symptoms were yeah getting worse and you know in the hospital also the question and they were asking the forms i had to sign you know that's how the world operates it can really get to you but when your focus is on jesus and on his love that's all we need that's all we need to conquer literally anything, anything. yes yes so her focus was on all the negative things now see what i want to stress here in this testimony we are getting to learn so many truths which the holy spirit is revealing first thing is god has given us a very beautiful power it is called the power to create with imagination now what our mind imagines most of the times that's how that's what we'll speak and what we speak gives birth to things that is why proverbs 18:21 says there is life and death in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit i'll just put that scripture that's proverbs 1821 okay so all this while eden was thinking all the negative things and she was confessing all those things but as soon as she heard the scripture by the wounds and stripes of jesus i am completely healed her focus went on to what jesus did on the cross where his scars where his wounds were bleeding so that she could have life am i right eden praise god yes so beautifully explained yes exactly yes. so her focus shifted from being carnally minded to being spiritually minded and at that point also she did not receive the report she has not received the report the report is due for the next day but she is imagining what the word of god says and that is by the wounds and stripes of jesus i am healed and as she very beautifully said that god's love for me is so much that if he died on the cross for me do you think he'll allow anything else to happen to me this is just the lie of the devil and that's a very wonderful key praise god okay. so that is exactly what you know brought shifted her focus onto the spiritual evidence 
and she's getting the report the next day but at that time she has already believed or she will believe participants i want you all to answer praise god <laughs> she already believed healed she is already believed and she's saying even though my report is coming tomorrow i know what is the result that is the confidence that is the faith that gives you result many people say yes i believe and but they first want to see then believe that is human faith that will not get you what you want it is god kind of faith which says hey there is no evidence to say that you know this is going to happen but the word of god says that and that is why i make a decision to believe and in this bit type of believing and faith there is no emotions please don't go by your feelings and emotions okay today i feel that god is going to do no it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how negative you feel how positive you feel faith is not by emotions faith is by the truth praise god so this is what we learned from uh, eden's testimony thank you holy spirit and thank you eden for you know sharing your testimony there's so much to learn from praise god thank you jesus thank you thank you jesus okay so we'll go to the next testimony i will ask someone else praise god thank you jesus jennifer you want to share testimony even if it's the smallest testimony also it is okay whatever little that happened praise god hello jennifer hello yes yes jennifer tell me whatever little bit you i you have experienced the love of god in your life in little things whatever comes to your mind praise god hello yes jennifer can you hear me yes clearly we can hear you praise god yeah. Jennifer she must have not Please. heard yeah yeah maybe uh, that is she's having some network issues okay auntie cheryl and uncle sam i'm pretty sure you would have something to share give us today yeah. praise god <laughs> uh, praise god actually now the nothing is that my past so many testimonies are there in my life so many miracles done in my life every day it's happening still yes <laughs> when it, yeah it is not like that it is every day this miracle is going on in my life <laughs> yeah yeah and one of the miracles is when uh, praise god <laughs> one of the miracles is when uh, when uh, when uh, your teeth yeah yeah no, when it is past he had he had some uh, teeth uh, teeth uh, problem and at that time uh, i was uh, like afraid and things like that whatever comes from the from the devil you see as he always does it but he used to always say don't worry don't worry god is with us and there'll be no problems at all we are healed by jesus uh, stripes by jesus stripes we are healed in the meantime uh, you know how the devil works and it comes and you know keeps on reminding you oh now shell what are you going to do uh, samuel samuel this samuel is saying it's paining this 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 and at the same time so many other other circumstances and uh, you know he brings out so many situations in between like uh, unbelief and uh, uh, he doesn't want you to believe on god's word he always tries to snatch all your dreams the devil tries to snatch all your dreams he never allows you to uh, focus on the dreams which god has given you uh, and at that moment i called up lavina priya's mummy i called her up and uh, i say, i i shared my um, whatever was going on in my life i said i don't know what to do now this see uh, see lavina uh, 
actually we had gone before calling Lavina, we had gone to one of the doctors and it was not proper there. Something or the other was going not going properly. So we called up Lavina and she was so kind. And really, I felt like an uh, angel sent by God to us, really. At that moment, I needed someone to hug me. And uh, I can't express uh, the joy she gave me by speaking to me and consoling me and saying, Cheryl, don't worry at all. The spirit of the Lord is upon you all and, and God will do everything good for you. And she gave me a, a doctor's number, a dentist number. And she said, I will come with you and I will help you. That was really so kind of her. God bless her and her family. It was really, it was really a blessing which she came into my life that day. And after that Thank day, she came into my life and she, she really blessed me and my family. Really, it was, it was a real oh. blessing. She stepped into my home and, she, and, and after that day, there were so many misunderstandings I would like to share between me and Samuel also. Small childish like fights, you see, childish fights, which we, uh, I would like, I would not like to bring it out, but it was, there was nothing. The devil just tries to tempt you. And, you know, for simple things, like small children-like things, he'll say, he'll say, oh, yeah, Samuel did this because he doesn't, he doesn't want to listen to you. This, this, you know, these are all simple things he tries to do in our homes. So we must not, never, never give a year to him. We should always believe in the word of God and we should know. And I, and I always believe, believed in the word of God and Samuel believed in the word of God. That's why the more you're close to God, you there will be more temptations in life. So we have to, we have to resist him. We have to resist him. And he'll bring many, many uh, thoughts in your life, in your mind, sorry. He'll bring many thoughts in your mind saying, you know, everything negative about the person who you love. Who, and he'll never let anybody to love each other. He tries to pull out the love of God from you. I believe in that. Yeah, he's done that so many times with my loved ones and myself. And at the same time, then uh, uh, Lavina did a big, 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 big favor to me that day. Otherwise, I was, you know, so upset. And then I'm so thankful to you, Priya. Then Priya came to our house. She stepped into our house and she changed our life. Thank you so much, Priya. God bless you. We knew the word of God. We are in the word of God. We are in everything. Yeah, we, but you know, the, the, the devil tries to tempt you, even if you are in, in the most uh, remote uh, place with, with God's word, like how he took Jesus on the, on the mount and he told, he tempted him. He tries to tempt you like that with wrong things, wrong thoughts. So after that day, I started covering my thoughts with the precious blood of Jesus. Yes, and God. I, yes. And I cast my cares on Jesus and uh, Priya, you're really, really an angel again. Same, same like your mother. Thank you. God bless you all. all. And, uh, after that day, uh, even Priya came and she made us understand the word of God and shared her experiences, which was so much uh, uh, comparing with us. I'm, I'm sure Priya, the Holy Spirit led you the other day and uh, you changed our life the other day. And praise from that God. onward, yeah, I praise see, it God. it was praise. not me. It was the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I'm only a broken vessel, as All it says in Corinthians. God. We are yes. broken vessels, which is, you know, edified yes. by the Holy Spirit. Praise Amen. God. Yes. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah, all we glory to God. cover our thought with precious blood of Jesus. Yes. <laughs> because the mind is the battleground, no? Yes. And you know... Yes, yes, Uncle Sam. And yeah, you know, yeah. uh, when the uh, when we come closer to God, you know, the, our battles start increasing even more because yeah. the devil doesn't want it. He cannot stand us coming closer to God. He doesn't yeah. have a problem. You pray, you do whatever. But the day you start and get the understanding of the word and you start applying it in your life, oh my God, yes. he yes. cannot yes. stand it. I'm doing every day the same to applying to my, my everyday life. You know, also in my thinking, always I'm, whenever I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, just, you know, sometimes it's coming the negative thoughts, something is different, it's coming. Yeah. 
then I, suddenly i'm thinking are you going to do one round only yeah what i am thinking i'm thinking like that you know then i suddenly i'm changing and praise and worship in anywhere i'm anywhere i'm there no i'm doing that praise and worship just um, uh, just speaking in the tongues then then it is running away from that thoughts otherwise continuously you know it's going on the thoughts one by one one by one it will come that negative something different different then I, I, this is the life now every day i'm changing every yeah, we day don't, we don't i'm need renewing to quit. my mind like that yeah, yeah. we must not quit yeah we uh, because uh, if we quit then the devil is a winner <laughs> yes yes but we yes. must not quit yeah we must yes. never we could cling on to god like how jacob was clinging on to god and saying i refuse to let go of god until god blesses me yes. more yes. so i we do the same thing these days. amen thank you amen. Amen. thank you thank amen. you so much priya sorry Praise so big god. so much <laughs> yeah. to learn so much to learn from you know your testimonies uh-huh. and as the auntie was telling you know even though you are in the word it doesn't make it you know be like okay everything is going to be okay it's like you know you're not work even more harder i mean yes, not yes. through your own strength but it's through grace that is more important yeah. Yeah. and grace, we yes, yes praise god and we need to, and we need to have a constant relationship with god uh, priya yes. we need yes. to also- have a constant it's not like the rituals like you know you say one our father one hail mary or whatever it is and you know say uh, read the bible and all we need to spend some time whatever time we have in uh, in the 24 hours we can have few minutes with with the personal relationship with god which we need to maintain that every day constantly not for a day or two every day we need to go to our closet and we go need to go to our bedroom in a small place and say lord we need to know what you have in store for us what what we need to do for your glory and ask him and lead us now suppose we have some things like some issues in our life we need to surrender it to him and say lord may your will be done in our lives i mean we need to surrender each and every small thing and involve him and acknowledge him in everything what we do each day of our lives i believe that would definitely make a big difference in in our so daily life yeah and he's power. given us the authority and power and the shield and the sword yes <laughs> so that that do these things we need to uh, apply to our life and Praise see the victory God. yes and the victory is ahead yes yes <laughs> victory devil is defeated for <laughs> amen wow so, so sorry many God, points. Such a big, so much of time so much of time no we... no no worries today's day is meant for all participants no, thank like you so much auntie we are God actually learning so many things praise mm. god <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah because i tried everything i tried like I, i we have experienced so much tried the bible we we read the bible and we constantly in god's word you won't believe it from the morning we get up in constantly in god's word god's word but still you know we said that something is missing where then i said to samuel i said we need to have constant relationship with god we need to praise and worship him every yeah. day on ourselves and ask him and you know glorify him because he will never leave us yeah and there's a shift coming i have this sense in my i ha- i'm sensing this priya just wanted to share this there's a shift coming to all you know this generation you know there's a shift coming and ch- uh, all sweet angels like you and eden and all the jennifers and all of you all you 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 all you all you all you know uh, go God is preparing you all and the revival is coming. Amen. Yeah, Praise I believe in yeah, the self-preservation of love for us. We are Amen. we are so blessed to have experienced that love and we are so blessed like I'm sure for I can speak for all of us like Jesus is our best friend right now and every second it's not even like speaking from my experience like I don't give keep like a separate time for God every day. but mm. i can so happily say that without any obligation every yes. second i'm thinking of him like even if i'm working i'm thinking of him i'm talking to him i'm thanking yes. him i'm looking at it you know the statue that we have i'm looking exactly. as if he's you know that's really him when i'm talking and i'm like you know touching his feet and every second and it's so wonderful we all have like you know a life long yeah. best friend and even after life yes, of course God. so we are so yeah. lucky yes. 
Yes, yes. Praise God. Praise God. God bless you all. all. <laughs> wow. Today's was beautiful with these two beautiful testimonies. Jennifer messaged me that, you know, she's having a little net issue. So she'll share the testimony tomorrow. So that's okay. But today's day was so beautifully graced by two very beautiful testimonies coming from two very beautiful people. That's what I like about these Zoom sessions, you know. Even though I take the session, sometimes what happens is I also get very, my mind also gets very drifted away. Mm. when work comes and everything but because we have the spiritual connection you know where we are fellowshipping with people who are in the word even when one of us falls when we listen to each other's testimonies and conversations we get very encouraged and built up praise god mm -hmm. that's the main idea of this platform mm. yeah all right and you know like, just a small thing like about falling like before i used to feel very like guilty and condemned when there were days where i didn't feel as connected to god but just realizing that he is always having open arms for us so even if we fall at any time we can turn back to him and say jesus i'm sorry you know and that's it and we have again reclaimed our you know his favor on yes. us his arms yes. are always open his arms are always open Yes, Karin. Praise God. Wow, what a beautiful time. I enjoyed these half an hour, you know, with the Holy Spirit speaking through you beautiful people. Praise God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Anyways, okay then. So we will continue tomorrow because uh, there's another meeting that I'll have to join in a couple of minutes. So, Eden, would you like to do the closing prayer for today? Yeah, Priya, sure, sure. Thank you, Jesus, for such a wonderful session today. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for all these amazing people who have joined this session and who are such like such amazing um, ambassadors of your word and who help build each other up and build all of us up. And bless all of us, Jesus. Bless everyone who's gathered here. Bless their families. Bless their intentions. Uh, Jesus, we, we ask you to continue to, you know, have strength and not allow the enemy to win in your name. The enemy will never win against us and help us to be a light to others, to be a guide to others and to help all those who come uh, in, in our life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Eden, for this beautiful closing prayer. Thank you, everyone, for sharing your lovely moments with the Lord. Praise God. God bless you all. See you all tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.